In this training, I'll be covering machine hydraulic issues. Topics that will be covered. Machine condition, sensor installation, machine measure up and validation, valve calibration, auto optimization, data for support. When investigating machine hydraulic issues, it is important to confirm the machine has been correctly maintained and the machine is in good working condition. Poor machine maintenance can affect the performance of the automatic guidance. Check the machine operation before turning machine control system on. Check the machine hydraulic system to ensure there are no hydraulic oil leaks. Inspect valves, hoses and hydraulic rams. Each machine type will have specific maintenance checks that will need to be carried out. Inspect the machine condition to ensure correct maintenance has been completed. Check the hydraulic oil level is correct, especially after any hydraulic installations. The machine specific earthworks commissioning manual has detailed information on checks to be carried out and the required specifications. Sensor installation. Ensure all sensors have been installed as per the instructions in the installation manual for each machine type, including the sensor bracket welding, the correct sensor locations and sensor alignment. Measure up and validation. Confirm the machine measure up and sensor calibration validation have recently been completed on the machine. Ensure that all required validation checks have been completed. For more information, refer to the machine-specific Trimble Earthworks Commissioning Manual. Valve Calibration On electrohydraulic machines, an incorrect solenoid or joystick calibration will cause poor automatic hydraulic performance. A new solenoid or joystick calibration may need to be completed. A valve calibration must be done after completing a solenoid or joystick calibration. For more information on how to perform a solenoid calibration, see the machine manufacturer documentation or contact the machine dealer. When completing a valve calibration in earthworks, ensure the hydraulic oil is at normal operating temperature. The machine revs are at full operating speed. Each machine type has specific instructions. Follow the guides for valve calibration in the web UI. Auto optimization. A number of factors may cause machines to respond differently in automatic operation. This can be due to different machine operators, the grading surface or even the age of the machine. The automatic parameters may need to be adjusted. This is referred to as auto optimization. Attempt to tune the machine automatics using the auto optimization adjustment sliders. The default setting for each adjustment is 100. For more information on auto optimization, see the machine specific earthworks commissioning manual and operator manual under auto optimization. If after completing machine checks, validations, calibrations, and auto optimization does not improve the machine operation, you may need assistance from support and engineering to further investigate the problem. To investigate the problem further, support needs the following data. A detailed description of the problem. Provide detailed information on the troubleshooting that has been completed on the machine. Use a test plan. Set up a camera to video the machine showing the problem. At the completion of the pass, take a Z-snap to correspond with the video. Document the results in a test plan. Get a backup of the project and design from the machine. Ensure the camera angle captures the problem on the machine. Give commentary during the video. Don't assume that the problem will be understood by just viewing the video. At the completion of the test, document the results of the test in the test plan, including Z-Snap name, corresponding video name, and any additional test data. Group the Z-Snap and corresponding video together in one folder. For multiple tests, create separate folders for each test. Sending multiple videos and Z-snaps together with no context will increase the time in diagnosing an issue. It can take hours and days sorting through the information. It may not be possible to match the correct Z-snap with the correct video. Important information may be missed. 
Using a test plan can help document what test was performed and what data was recorded. Take the time while on site. Incomplete or incorrect data will cause the test results to be inconclusive or invalid. It may not be possible to diagnose the issue requiring additional site visits and machine downtime. Plan each test. Document and review the data from each test before progressing to the next test while the information is fresh. Review video data, ensuring the video has captured the problem. Ensure the correct Z-Snap corresponds with the correct video. Organise the test data. Group each test in separate folders. Taking the time while on site to ensure accurate test data has been captured and organised will save time in the long run.